हेलो फ्रेंड गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माय वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग एंड नो लेट स्टार्ट द टुडे इन्फॉर्मेशन इट टेक्स टाइम टू गेट थिंग्स डन नाउ वी आर वाचिंग ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स कम टुगेदर एट द एंड I think Iraq has made significant adjustments to what they've been doing. I think their non-oil revenue streams is going to bring value to their country. Iraq glory days was based off of just oil. Iraq has a lot more than just oil. Liquid natural gas, that's a massive amount of income. They used to burn it and flare it and just waste it. Now they're going to produce it and ship it, likely to Europe. They're going to bottle that gas and sell it. They're not only going to increase their oil, but they're going to increase their non-oil revenue streams. That's where all the ability to be able to support the value of their currency. Here's something you can take to the bank. Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan Chase have the concession for exchanging the dinar in America, and Standard Charter has the concession in Canada and England. Seems I recall they will have Australia too but don't hold me to that. I strongly believe we need a lack to finish what he's doing in New York and Washington. Come back to Baghdad and bring the real real effective. Exchange rate to Iraq. We believe this is the next step because of what Sadani told the Iraqi citizens. Emo the commercials are the next thing that they're going to show them. Emo the commercials are already produced. They will be released to the public. When Sadani said the monetary reform is coming to an end, that's a big hint. That's what we in Intel call a big clue. Sadani says we are in the final stages of the education phase on the monetary reform. My friend, who is working in Iraq, finance minister said, "What happens next?" He said, "After the monetary reform education, the lower notes will come out." But first the commercials will show them to you. He seems to think it's the upcoming next year for some reason. The reason why he is saying this is because he is aware that the CBI will meet with the United States Treasury at the end of this year. He may be thinking we need that meeting. Emo I strongly disagree. I still look forward to Elac returning from New York with a new exchange. Rate that everyone is agreeing upon. Emo the commercials are next because they are already produced and ready to be released. Zaha Hadid Architects unveils construction progress of Central Bank of Iraq skyscraper in Baghdad. The Central Bank of Iraq (CBI) headquarters is a new landmark on the banks of the Tigris River in Baghdad, now the tallest building in the city. The 170-meter-tall skyscraper aims to echo the values of the institution: solidity, stability, and sustainability. Today could be a very exciting day after the market opens. Time will tell. I had an interesting conversation with my CBI contact. It was confirmed that they are moving toward a January 2025 reinstatement. I know none of us like to hear this. We all know they planned for a late summer reinstatement, but that plan failed and the US Treasury finally stepped in to help out. Now we move on to a new chapter and another attempt at it. Thank you for watching.